And before we Muslims we offer salah, it is compulsory for us to do wudu, to do ablution. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Maidah chapter number five, verse number six. Ya ayyuhu alladheena amanu, o you who believe, idha qumtum li salah, when you stand for prayer, faghsilu wujuhakum, then wash your faces, wa aydiyakum ila al-marafiq, and your hands up till your elbows, wa msahu bi ru'usikum wa arjulakum ila al-ka'bain, and wipe your forehead and wash your feet up till your ankles. So doing wudu is compulsory before salah. And a similar message is mentioned in the Bible. It's mentioned in the book of Exodus, chapter number 40, verse number 31 and 32. Moses and Aaron washed their hands and feet thereat. And when they entered into the tent of congregation, and when they approached the altar, they washed as the Lord had commanded Moses, peace be upon him. A similar message is mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 21, verse number 26, that Paul, along with his men, washed in front of the Lord. The reason why we Muslims do wudu, it is for cleanliness and hygiene. And besides this, it is also a form of psychological preparation, a mental preparation before we communicate with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Abul Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume one, book of Salah, chapter number 56, hadith number 438 that the earth is made for me and my followers as a place to do sujood, as a masjid. So the whole earth is made a place to do sujood as a masjid. But naturally, where you do sujood, where you pray, it should be a clean place. And it is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume one, book of Adan, chapter number 75, hadith number 692. A blood prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, before offering salah, his shoulder touched the shoulder of the companion, his feet, Touch the feet of the companion. And it is mentioned in Surah Abu Dawood, Volume 1, Book of Salah, Chapter number 245, Hadith number 666. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before offering Salah, he said, Stand shoulder to shoulder, closing up the gaps, and do not leave any opening for the devil. Irrespective whether you are rich or poor, whether you are black or white, whether you are king or a pauper, when you stand for Salah, you should stand shoulder to shoulder. 